So hey guys, welcome to Dogwood Springs Outdoors. Glad you could join us today. I wanted to do a comparison video for you. I ended up with two different uh, comparable uh, sets of uh, different brands of hearing protection uh, that, that I was trying out and decided just be a good opportunity to go over the, the differences with you. And if you, you know, were looking at something like that, what might help you make your own decision. But anyway, I'll also tell you how I ended up with both. But uh, first on this side, we got the, the Pro Hear uh, O33, the upgraded model, which honestly, I'm not sure what's different in the upgraded model. It may be that they added a mic. Um, I don't think that was in the original microphone. And then the 3M Connect AM FM. Now both of these have uh, their Bluetooth and AF AM FM uh, headsets. And that's why I got them in the first place, actually. I, the, the main reason I was looking at these is I, so I could work and listen to local sports games. And that's why I wanted the AM FM. Now both of these brands, Pro here and the 3M have different models, you know, without the AM FM, so in different price ranges and all that. Some of them, some of these are specifically geared for like shooting, and I don't think either one of these are specific to that uh, models. But I mainly need, I use them for mowing and when I'm working on the tractor or chainsawing or uh, using the wood splitter, just anything like that, or primarily. Uh, reasons I use them. I had been looking at the three M's. Uh, I don't know if you if you happen to follow uh, Mike Morgan outdoors with the Morgans. He I think is a big fan and he has several sets of the three the M brand and so I got them on different sides here but so uh, that's really what got me interested in them and my in-laws had asked me what you know for an idea for a Christmas gift and I thought that'd be a good thing. So I looked at them on Amazon and they were like a month out for ordering. It didn't say they were on back order, but anyway, that uh, was kind of made it not really feasible for, for a Christmas gift at that time. And, and the Pro Hears came up as, you know, a comparable unit. And so I looked at those and they were actually a few dollars more, um, but generally had, you know, as good reviews. And so I went with that and that's what I ended up getting. Before I go any more in the weeds on that, I'll just kind of talk about the different, uh, I guess, the similarities and and differences. And like I say, they're all they're both uh, similarly sized. The I guess the ear compartments, the padding is about the same on both. They're both comfortable. I even got my digital caliper out, and the Pro Hears are, I think, one millimeter longer, at least with my measuring, um, taller, and the same width as the the three M's. Uh, that and like I said, I bought the end up buying the three M's myself because of the trouble I was having with the the Pro Here model I had received. But the they range uh, at least on Amazon. They like they like I said, there are a bunch of different models, but these particular ones range from like they had normal prices. I think sixty nine for the three uh, M's and seventy three around there for the Pro Here. But they're, they're also on sale all the time, so the prices. You know, vary for both models. Uh, the noise reduction rating, the Pro here is 25, and uh, the three M's are uh, 24. Um, but I guess one, of, like I said, one of the bigger differences and what I didn't realize at first that I do want to point out, I think it's good for you to know, is the well. First off, when I got the Pro Hears, they came charged. That it came with a rechargeable lithium ion battery and everything, you know, seemed great at first. And so I just started working. I'm going to pause for a minute, wait on this jet to fly. Over. So, anyway, the, the Pro Hears, I just I used them maybe three different times, you know, for several hours at a time and had great. You know, it's just what I needed, just what I wanted. I tried, I was using it both for streaming music through my phone and using the FM, you know, station on there. And then the next time I went to use them after that, they were uh, dead and it wouldn't cut on. So I hooked it up to the charger that it came with and nothing happened with that as well. So 
you know, gave it overnight, did several things, tried to readjust everything. No luck. It never indicated even that it was charging. Um, and so I got back on there and was looking at it on Amazon, and that's when I started finding some things that were a little, a lot of people complain about the batteries being um, uh, defective or not having good luck with the batteries that came with the unit. And they also found out at that time that they don't even seem to have a website. They're the only way that you could connect, uh, contact them was through an email address that they provided. And my biggest problem was since I got these as a gift, I didn't have any order information for it. So I couldn't uh, provide that for any kind of warranty type service. So I reached out to my in-laws to try to get that information, but it was not, you know, uh, moving fast. And so I said, well, I'll just order a new battery because I decided that I got a defective battery too. Well, you can't do that. They're, they're, the battery that they have in there, there's, you can't just find that battery, specific battery on Amazon. It seems to be a proprietary battery, which that I've got issues with that as well when you're trying to replace it. And that's the only option. You can't, there's not an either or, like as far as putting double A's or triple A's or something like that. It was their battery or nothing. So in the meantime, I was like, I'll, maybe I'll have better luck with 3M. They have a, seemed like a lot more support, a lot more options for parts and batteries and replacements like that. So the ones, like I said, that I had been looking at originally, that the Work Tunes Connect with the AM, FM, um, I ordered a set of those and got it, you know, in the next few days. And apparently I didn't do a lot of enough research because I was under the impression that that was going to come the same way that the Pro here came. And I guess I just missed the fact that it came with no battery whatsoever. Uh, I mean, the good news there is that it will take AA batteries. And so I just put two AA batteries in there and went to work and it was fine. After all that, I did actually get the order number, the correct order number, reached out to Pro here, told them my problem, um, or the problem I was having, and they just, they didn't want me to send anything back. They just said they'd send me a new set and got my address and did. And so I got the new set in and that allowed me to do some testing. So what I found in that was that it was not a defective battery that I, like I thought it was actually the charging port was when you plugged it into the charger, it was not making it some kind of disconnect between there and the battery and it was not actually charging the battery. So I can take the battery out of this one or the original one and put it in the new one and charge it and put it back in the original one and it still works. So now I essentially have three sets of, of these, you know, MFM Bluetooth hearing protection. And I just stuck a label on these so I'd know which one wouldn't, I couldn't actually plug in and charge. Uh, so now I'll get more in the comparison otherwise. Like I say, that, that seems to be the biggest complaint that I, that I noticed online was, was battery issues with the Pro here. Um, you can just tell by looking at them, they're very similar. The, the Pro here does have a lot larger uh, cushion on the top, so that makes it, I think, more comfortable on your head. There's just this main, this one really pad in the middle on the 3M, but the Pro here, uh, also, I guess the disadvantage to all that padding is if you're wearing them and it's 95 degrees outside, you've got that big sweat ring on the top of your head with, for, if you do it for very long, but another big difference in them that I found, or not that I found, but that exists, is the Pro here, is has a digital display and that's generally how you set it up and control it is with that it has four buttons here a, a mode a power button um left and right arrows for like tuning and um next song previous song things like that they, they all serve multiple purposes and then the knob down here in the center for your volume control and uh all that works fine. This also has a battery display up there, which is helpful. So you can see what level uh, battery you're at. Not, you know, similar to a lot of cell phones as far as that. And um, on the 3M, there's no digital display. It has what they call voice assist, which honestly works just as well, I think. And in some cases, it's easier to use 
without because you you without taking it off your head. Um, it does not have it has the dial, the knob, which is fine as far as tuning, and the voice assist. It just tells you what station instead of looking at what station. It when you you can skip a lot and go fast or whatever, but it'll tell you. You know, when, once you stop, it'll tell you the station you're on. It also has a function and a source knob up there, um, of course, for switching between everything. The, uh, the volume button is also the power button on the, the 3M. Just mash it for the power and turn it for the knob. And it is easier uh, to access on there. I mean, it's just more comfortable. It, it seems like the placement is, is makes it more... Uh, I guess easy to get to and work with, but one thing I, I've seen and that Mike Morgan actually talked about, one of his is busted off because of the way it does stick out there if you drop it or hit it on something, I think it's just less protected and, and easier to mess up, which might, you know, could be an issue as well. Uh, they both have the ports for like your auxiliary ports or audio in. Um, got, I guess, two actually on the the uh, 3M model and um, one on here. This has a little rubber plug on the 3M to look for, you know, keep water, rain, whatever out. And note there is no cover on the Pro here version. Um, actual quality of sound. One of the things the Pro here seems to. Of course, I wouldn't have known this, and I, I didn't know it because I'd used them both, and I didn't know it till I was kind of testing them with the same, basically same song, same station, and would just take one off and swap it immediately. The Pro here seems to be better quality and a little bit, a little bit loud. Neither one of them are very loud. The 3M has what, uh, what's they, what do they call it? Um, a uh, safe volume control. And so just to protect your hearing over a longer period of time, it will actually allow you to listen to, to something at a louder volume, but the longer you're using them and the longer you have it on, it will automatically turn that volume down. Neither one of them, if I'm using something loud, they know neither one of them seem very loud, like, which I guess is a good thing because you need to be able to hear in the, for that kind of cases, you know, what's going on or if there's a problem with your equipment or any kind of thing like that, you obviously need to hear what, but you can't just you know, blow yourself out there with, with volume on either one of these. Uh, they both um, alert you, you know, if you're hooked up to Bluetooth with your phone, they both, they have different little sounds. It doesn't, it's not your phone tone or anything like that. They have their own unique sounds to let you know you're getting a call. And I've tried both of those. Uh, they were, I have not, tried them i've not tried the mic on either one they both have built-in mics um but i don't think that i'd ever actually be using that or probably be able to because if i'm wearing those then the environment's really going to be too loud for somebody to hear what i'm saying over the background noise but in an emergency situation and it's good at least know that somebody is calling you which you might not otherwise know that's i think to me that's the benefit of the connectivity there it's just the actual alert um, more so than being able to use it to talk and, and listen to somebody as much. Um, Pro here comes with a plug with a USB port on the other end. There's no brick or anything. You have to provide your own actual uh, charging brick to plug, you know, the, the other end, the USB and into to charge it. But it says that it will, it will run 48 hours on uh, one charge of Bluetooth. I don't know. I don't think I've gotten that out of it, but I do know that, like I say, I've only used the AA batteries in, in the 3M, and I probably, I put new batteries in, and I think I might have gotten eight hours out of them before they were dead, and I had to swap them out. Now, they weren't the, you know, highest quality brand of batteries, but that's still kind of significant, and, you know, makes me wish I did have the rechargeable, uh, the lithium ion pack for that one but that's another thing even though they're you know priced similarly in the in the 3m is actually just a little bit less the battery is huge because the battery alone for the 3m is like 30 more dollars there if you did decide to, to go in and, and buy that battery pack separately 
Um, but it is, you know, easily available on Amazon, like Butler said. Both of these are. Um, oh, the weight of them, they're almost the same. The Pro here is 13.12 ounces, and, and the, well, I held up the wrong one. The Pro here is 13.12 ounces, and the 3M is 13.66. I think I've covered most everything. The th the Pro here also comes with a uh, soft case, which is kind of nice. It's got the little, well, I think they're different on the other bag which they sent me. But anyway, it's just got the little pull cord drawstring on it. Um, so that's nice to just kind of protect them a little more when you're not using them to have that. I think I said the price and the volume. Uh, oh. One thing I've noticed that I, I did want to point out, and this could just be my unit, but I've noticed, and again, if you're not using it for the FM, that it's not going to be as big a deal to you, but it will cut out on me. Um, when I'm listening to, to an FM station, it doesn't seem to matter what station it is, it'll just kind of cut in and out, but it's not completely cutting out. It's just like I'm losing volume on it. And... Uh, the interesting thing about that is it does not happen at all if I'm uh, listening to music via Bluetooth. I, ha I haven't had that issue. It's only when I'm on the FM station, whereas the Pro here, I haven't had that experience at all. It, it doesn't, it, it's been the same quality whether I was on FM or Bluetooth. So that was, that, I feel like that was significant. But like I say, as far as the, the, the kind of, I guess, just comfort level of, of knowing that if something happens, you got more options to fix it. I like the 3M. If you, uh, I don't like the fact that, that it doesn't come with the rechargeable battery in it. When you're, you're looking at the same money, I think you're paying for the name. Although that's another thing, you know, they're both like uh, the 3M is distributed out of Minnesota, St. Paul, but they're both made in China, both Pro here and 3M are made in China. So really, I think you're, you're, you're probably paying for the, the name more than the quality of, of uh, build there. It's just my opinion. But as far as what they are, they both, I think, work fine. It's the biggest thing about the Pro here is knowing that that battery is not um, easily available. If you needed a new battery, or this battery dies, you can't just pop it out or put it on a charger and put put a couple of double A's in there. You're just out of luck with, with it as far as uh, the, the sound portion. Um, whereas the 3M, having the options is really nice, I think. Uh, the the overall comfort and, and sound quality, I would go with the Pro here. But that's what I've gotten so far, and maybe more. Again, I'm, I don't, I'm not getting anything from either one of these companies. I just ended up with, with both models and thought I would kind of share uh, what I've learned and, and my first impressions of them after, you know, I've probably put about 16 to 20 hours of use on both of them at this point. Uh, I don't really, I'll just grab whatever's there. I was not, I'm not at the point yet where I have a favorite. Uh, um, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for joining us. Stayed up for the whole time. If you appreciate this kind of content, please hit that like and subscribe button and come back and see us.